My name is Brandon Wallace. I'm a teacher and an author from Memphis, Tennessee. I grew up in Arkansas, really small town, very conservative world. And there's two things I've known since I was a little guy. Was that I was supposed to be a minister, but that I was also gay. And so I, I struggled with that on how to, how to figure these two things out. And it left me with fighting against one and pursuing another. I fought against the fact that I was gay and attracted to the same sex. And I pursued my ministry of following God. All until September of 2011. I was at home by myself watching TV when a breaking headline came on. This picture popped up on the screen of this 15-year-old kid who had killed himself. And I understood that. That broke me because I'd been in that position. I'd lived my whole life trying to figure this out. A few days later, I was in the shower weeping over this kid and, and how the world had beat him and got him that far. And crying out to God, trying to figure this out. And what am I supposed to do with this? And God told me that day, I want you to come out. And that seemed absurd to me. I was, I was like, no, there's no reason for that. I'm gonna, I would lose everything. I've spent my whole life trying to hide this. Why would you ask me to do this one thing I've always asked you not to ask me to do? And God replied, if you don't speak out, you're part of the problem. And so I fought with God on this. We fought it out for a long while. But eventually God won. And, and I took that step. And it hasn't been easy. It's one of the hardest things I've ever been through. But I'm still here. And now I'm taking that step that God asked me to do so long ago. I'm taking that step to be real and I'm telling my story. And I want to get my story out there so that people know that being gay and being a follower of Christ are not mutually exclusive. I need your help because there are thousands of others out there stuck in this same spot. And they need to know that there's hope. They need to know that there's grace. They need to know that there's love. And they need to know that they are not forgotten by God. They need to know that they too can take their mask off. They can be authentic, they can be real, and they can be loved.